from wherever in the world you are. And welcome to the African Light Source 2020 second session. This is a very special session because it's designed to emphasize that the African Light Source is a kind of umbrella embracing lots of partner stakeholders who share or strongly overlap with the African Light Source vision. So in the African Light Source project, there are many participants. It's very inclusive. All participate and retain their branding and their individuality, but they work coherently together with a common vision. Even if they're doing lots of other things, there may be overlap areas. We are in good communication. And indeed, we do share this vision that we would like to see an advanced light source on the African continent with all the attendant benefits that you have heard of in the last session. So then um, I, I feel fantastic that we reached this session and a very rich array of partner organizations and stakeholders and people who are on the roadmap with us. It's a great pleasure to see all of you there and we look forward to hearing from you. I have the list as in the program and I'm going to go through it in that order. So I will first ask Dr. Michaela Zaymer if he will unmute himself and give us his presentation on behalf of LAMP. So over to you, Michael. Thank you very much, Simon. Hello, Simon. Hello, everyone. Uh, you should enable me to share my screen, please. You are enabled. Not yet. OK, I am now. OK. So yes, OK, uh, Simon, uh, everyone, I'm going to introduce here the LAMP project, LAMP stands for Light Sources for Africa, uh, the, the Americas, Asia, Middle East, and the Pacific. And I'm going to give this talk on behalf of the members of the executive committee of LAMP. So uh, uh, me, myself, Mariana Gambakta, Sekanzi Mitingwa, Skula Stuk, and Sando Scandolo. Um, so um, uh, LAMP is a, um, a, an initiative, a project that, uh, uh, that is a joint project of the IUPAP, International Union of Pure and Applied Physics, and IUCR, the International Union of Crystallography. And it is a project that has been funded by the, by the International Science Council with a 300k euros uh, grant for uh, a period of a year. The main aim of LAMP is clearly expressed by the full project title, uh, which you see here in these slides, and, and is utilization of light source and crystallographic sciences to facilitate the enhancement of knowledge and improve the economic and social conditions in targeted regions of the world. Um, so um, IUPAP and IUCR have uh, uh, obtained this grant from the um, former ICSU, which is now ISC, International Science Council, under this grant program, which was um, uh, launched to facilitate active collaboration between scientific unions to address long-standing priorities to develop science education, outreach, and public engagement activities. The reason why IUPAP and IUCR decided to apply uh, for a grant and uh, to uh, use this grant for advancing light sources and crystallographic, uh, crystallographic sciences is very easy to understand by looking at this map that everyone knows uh, where you see the, the all the facilities, the synchrotron facilities around the world, and you see a huge gap in Africa, of course, but also uh, Latin America, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East, uh, and the Pacific Islands. So we decided to start a discussion uh, about implementing facilities in, the, uh, in, these, uh, in these targeted regions. Uh, I just want to uh, give a, a brief uh, introduction to the initiative by showing you uh, how it is uh, um, structured. We have an executive committee. So just to uh, show you some pictures of the people involved, the main people involved here. So uh, Sekazi, Sando and myself are the co-founders 
of LAMP, we have Mayel Agambakta and Osgul Ostuk, who are new members of the executive uh, committee. But we also have regional committees uh, in order to uh, discuss the, uh, about the, the development in the in the targeted region. Simon, you are the chair for Africa, but we also have uh, regional committees for Mexico, the Caribbean, Southeast Asia, Middle East, and the Pacific Islands is going to be announced. Uh, very soon. Uh, we also have many supporting and collaborative partners that you see in, uh, in this list, particularly, of course, I want to mention UNESCO and uh, the, the regional offices of the International Science Council, TWAS, SESAMI, of course, and among those, the African Light Source Steering Committee is, of course, one of the uh, collaborative partners. I will say more about this. We have 16 participating advanced light sources collaborating with us in particular uh, for, uh, for our task about the mobility of researchers and the training uh, in the uh, synchrotron facilities. Um, so the project was uh, initially built in order to achieve five tasks. Actually, I'm going to uh, introduce all of those, and I think we have achieved at least the first four tasks, and we're not sure we want to have a closing meeting because the, the initiative is actually going on and is in full spring at the moment. So starting with uh, task one, we have actually already developed and released and published the regional strategic plans that you can find at the URL that you see in this slide. So now uh, in, in these strategic plans, we are actually discussing about the situation in the target regions and our suggestions for development of uh, science education, uh, outreach, and uh, all uh, that is concerned with the development of light sources in these, uh, in these regions. Uh, we had a colloquium program. Uh, we are having a colloquium program. I'm just listing the first colloquia, uh, colloquium presentations that we had uh, um, for LAMP in uh, different parts of the world. I'm just mentioning some here. And I was to focus uh, just for a second on the colloquium program that uh, Thierry Dalmeida uh, gave in Benin. Thierry is uh, speaking just after me in this session. Uh, so uh, Thierry gave a, a LAMP colloquium uh, in Benin, and uh, that was a big, big success because following uh, this uh, colloquium presentation, the XTEC Lab was actually founded, and uh, uh, this is now a, a, a very uh, interesting reality. Is something uh, we have a, a permanent user research facility, and uh, let me say hello to all the students. Um, of the Extec Club, who are now at this very moment uh, attending a training session, and they are uh, 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 they are attending the, the, this uh, session of the African Light Source Conference. So uh, I just want to say hello to all of them, and uh, let me also say that uh, it's very important that, uh, um, of course, this training session because of the pandemic is. Um, uh, is running in a sort of hybrid model with some students in a lecture room, some others connected remotely, including the lecturers. So this is going to be the very, the very first virtual UCR UNESCO Open Lab supported by, uh, by LAMP. Uh, so we also have brochures. You can download for free uh, these uh, very interesting brochures edited by Ernie Malamud. Uh, we have five editions, five versions available in English, Spanish, French, Arabic, and Portuguese. You can download the, the PDF um, versions from the website. If you need printed copy, you find instructions on the website. Just contact our brochure editor, Ernie Malamud. Uh, we had, uh, we are having a, a, a fantastic uh, uh, project for uh, mobility of researchers. This is under the faculty student we call FAST teams, uh, who are visiting advanced light sources for a period of two months in order to get trained on this. This is uh, very successful. At the moment, uh, we don't have any calls open, but please stay tuned because we are hoping to uh, open new calls for next year. Uh, okay, I just have some pictures of uh, our previous FAST teams and I'm very uh, happy, uh, I'm always very happy to say that uh, we are proud that the very first users at Sesame were our uh, previous 
fast teams so supported by LAMP. So this is a very nice success stories of LAMP. And since we have the pandemic, I see Tabitha there, uh, we have started, thanks to Tabitha, who is putting a lot of efforts in this initiative, we have started this Spark initiative in order for uh, researchers from developing countries to mail in their samples to Tabitha um, or other uh, initiative in order to be uh, for these samples to be measured at different uh, synchrotron facilities. So this is a way to um, uh, use this time when everyone is actually uh, not moving because of this uh, uh, horrible situation of the pandemic. Now I want to use my last three minutes here, Simon, uh, to uh, say a few words about the tight connection between LAMP and, and the African light source. And of course, as you said, we share the same vision. We have worked together a lot and we are here to help the African light source uh, with its mandate and its vision. And very recently, we have signed a memorandum of understanding. I'm anticipating something that I guess you want to mention tomorrow in the final session, but I think it's important uh, that uh, LAMP, LAMP anticipate the fact that we have a formal agreement with the African Light Source Foundation that was done thanks to Simon and Tabitha again. I want to thank them for putting a lot of work into drafting this uh, memorandum of understanding. Uh, but I want to say that since the very the very start, the the, the beginning of LAMP. We, uh, we've been very, very uh, close to each other. And in fact, I want to say that LAMP actually started during the very, the, the first African Light Source Conference and Workshop at the ESRF uh, in Grenoble, when uh, uh, Sekazi, myself and Sandro uh, met for the first time and decided to uh, write something, to draft something for and propose a, a, an initiative to the ISC for this grants program. So uh, here we are all holding uh, the speaking stick and that was very useful indeed because uh, in the end it worked. We were wise enough to write a good proposal and to have this uh, funded and uh, so LAMP could actually exist. And uh, LAMP also um, organized a, a very interesting session at the World Science Forum in 2017 in Jordan. Uh, you see the panel here of speakers, including Simon, of course, who talked about the Af uh, presented the African light source uh, to this uh, important uh, high level uh, audience. And uh, I think uh, uh, the World Science Forum in Jordan in 2017 is a milestone, even for the African light source, not only for um, uh, for LAMP because we had this uh, uh, informal meeting at the end of the session also with Herman Winnick, Romain Murenzi from TWAS discussing about the agenda towards the African light source. So I think that was a, a very important milestone for the African light source. And this is again, you see in this picture, uh, this is Simon and myself and we are talking with a, a Minister for Science of the uh, government of uh, Ghana. Uh, he was uh, among the speakers yesterday and we were discussing about how Ghana could be the champion for uh, for the African light source. And uh, this is this. Uh, I mean, I think the major follow up of uh, PCCR2. This was the Pan African Conference on Crystallography, uh, where we when we met the the Minister of Science of Ghana uh, was the support that was given by the President of Ghana, Akufadu. And uh, finally, just to conclude, uh, this is the World Science Forum 2019 that was in Budapest and also in this case in front of a very important audience of uh, uh, policymakers, uh, uh, diplomats, scientists. Uh, we had a very nice session uh, chaired by me and Michel Spiro from, uh, from IUPAP and uh, Sekaz in this case, co-chair of the African Light Source, could introduce the African Light Source to this audience. So I think we are uh, doing our best in order to give visibility and to support uh, uh, and to support the African light source. I'm just uh, concluding with this slide, thanking you for your attention and uh, reminding here uh, how LAMP is, uh, um, is going to collaborate with, uh, uh, with the African light source. And we're here to help, of, of course, and to support. Thank you very much for your attention. Well, thank you very much. Much, Michaela. Uh, it really was a pleasure to see, and thank you for walking in this road together with us. 
Thank I'm you going to hold questions to the end. You can also put them in the chat. I haven't seen uh, any questions in the chat. So I'm going to ask uh, Thierry